Jacob is back at it here to give everyone another movie ranking video as what I'm going to be doing in this particular video is ranking six movies that I saw for the first time in 2021 that did not come out in 2021. Now, there's a few things that you should know. I could have included these titles in a movies watched in 2021 video, but I felt it was unfair as some of these films are very old and very big blockbusters and I felt I needed to vote time to its own video so that's why i separated them and of course a few things you should know if you don't ever already know uh, i'm going to be talking about spoilers most likely so be aware if you haven't seen the movie you might want to skip ahead a little bit and this will be my opinion of these six films we may disagree on our placement of these make sure you leave your ranking of these six movies in the comment section assuming you've seen them all and uh, just so we can compare what our ranking is and uh, let's get started with the film that came in sixth place on my list, Hereditary. I actually really enjoyed Hereditary, and I had heard a lot of good things about it. I just never had gotten a chance to watch it until now, and it was a really good movie. I am in agreement with a lot of the horror community. I think Toni Collette should have got an Oscar for her performance, in addition to other movies that she was really good in horror that didn't get notoriety that it should have got. Uh, I will say, spoiler alert, the part with the girl when she's in the backseat of the car and she's got her head out the window and all of a sudden her head gets decapitated, I did not, and I repeat, did not see that coming. So that was a shocker, but it was a pretty fun movie. The ending was a little, it wouldn't have been how I would have preferred the movie to end, but all in all, I actually really enjoyed Hereditary. I bought it already, and that's what's going to come in Number six. Number five, a movie that I saw again for the first time in 2021, which this movie's been out since 1988, I believe. And I actually liked it a lot. And that would be Die Hard 2, Die Harder. This movie was a lot of fun. I felt we didn't get as much about our villains in this movie as we should have. Like, we didn't really know their all of their motives in my opinion, or their motives weren't their motives weren't explained good enough, I thought. Without that speaking, the movie was fucking awesome. Was it better than Die Hard? Absolutely not. But the movie was fun. I enjoyed it. And that is why I put it number five out of these six. And I should warn you guys, I like all these movies. Now, if I would have added one more movie to the list, a movie that I didn't like as much, but I didn't think it was as bad is what people say it is, but it's it's bad, but not terrible. And that would be the fifth Die Hard movie, A Good Day to Die Hard, or a, whatever the hell the name of the movie is with Jai Courtney and Bruce Willis. That would have been last on the list, and I didn't like that one that much, although it's not as bad as people say it is, but it's, it's pretty bad, though. So just letting you know that. Number four on my list is a movie that I learned about from Cody Leach, a movie that he talks about, a surprise hit, in my opinion, a very well done movie, and that would be Rudderless. The, the concept of the movie is, and William H. Macy directs this movie and has a minor role in the movie. A family has their son uh, die in a school shooting, and the dad later on finds some of his son's music that he never recorded. So he starts playing his music, his son's, his dead son's music at a, you know, like some uh, just open mic nights. And he actually becomes quite popular when another another kid joins with him, played by um, Anton Yelich, R.I.P. And he starts performing with him. And it's just really good. It's, it's touching. It swerves you a little bit too which I didn't see coming. I probably should have saw it coming, but I, I had no clue this is the direction that this film was going to go in. But it's a really awesome movie, and I thank you, Cody Leach, for making awesome recommendations. And another recommendation, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a show that's on HBO Max. It used to be a Cinemax show. It's called Banshee. It's only four seasons, not that many episodes. Awesome show. So Banshee and Rudderless two awesome, or Rudderless, two awesome things that Cody Leach has recommended. So that's why uh, Rudderless comes in at number four. Number three, again, another movie I saw for the first time in 2021. Other than that, I had no, no 
I wasn't going to see this movie ever because I just didn't think it was that interesting, but I'm glad I did, and that would be A Quiet Place. This was a pretty awesome movie. A little slow at first, obviously. The only reason why I saw this movie is an ex of mine wanted to go see a movie, and she picked A Quiet Place Part 2. So in preparation for this supposed movie date that, spoiler alert, didn't actually happen, I watched A Quiet Place, and I must say, this was fucking awesome. Emily Blunt is awesome. John Krasinski, I think that's his name, he was pretty awesome. I didn't expect, spoiler alert, for his character to die in the movie, and he, you know, he writes the movie and stars in it, or directs the movie and stars in it. Pretty, excuse me, a pretty awesome movie. I, I thought it was really suspenseful and a lot of fun. And uh, something definitely that I, I went to see A Quiet Place Part 2 in the theater without my movie date because I was so into A Quiet Place. But I never had any inkling to see it before that. So that's why A Quiet Place Part 1 is number 3 on my list. Number 2. Surprisingly, I had never seen this movie. Or if I did, I didn't remember seeing this. I had seen all the sequels except for Salvation. But I finally was able to see The Terminator from 1984 in 2021. This movie is awesome. It is not an action sci-fi movie. This movie is an action horror movie. And it's fucking brilliant. Uh, it's just great. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Is it better than Terminator 2 Judgment Day? No. But it's a different movie. And I love it. And it's two really good movies in a franchise. And that's why I put The Terminator number two on my list. And the movie that I picked, that's the my favorite movie of the year that didn't come out in 2021. I finally just saw it a couple days ago. And that would be one of the best Christmas movies of all time, Die Hard. This movie was fucking awesome. I was shocked at how great this movie is and how action-packed and kind of violent that this movie is and it still holds up even if even for a movie that came out I think in 1986 it still holds up to this day pretty awesome movie I'm gonna have to watch it again to see how much I truly like it in terms of like is it one of my favorite movies of all time sort of ordeal but I really enjoy Die Hard Bruce Willis did an amazing job in this Alan Rickman as the villain was pretty awesome I like Reginald L. Johnson the third he doesn't really have a big role in the movie. I mean, it's better than the second movie in terms of his role. But I really enjoyed this this movie. And I was actually quite surprised that I liked it as much. And it is Cody Leach's favorite movie of all time. And I felt like I was an idiot because I had never seen Die Hard. But I finally have now. At least I don't remember seeing Die Hard at all. Same with Terminator or The Terminator. So that is why the original Die Hard comes in at number one. So again, to recap, the six movies that I saw for the first time in 2021 that didn't come in, come out in 2021. Hereditary, Die Hard 2, Rudderless, Quiet Place Part 1, The Terminator from 1984, and the original Die Hard. So what do you think of this ranking of these movies? If you've seen them all, how would you rank these movies? If you haven't seen Rudderless yet, I would highly recommend checking it out. Pretty awesome movie. It's on Amazon Prime, although you'll have to pay like, was it $3.99 for the movie? But I would highly, highly recommend it. Again, the movie swerves me a little bit that I wasn't expecting. So make sure you rank these movies in the comments section, assuming you've seen them all. And again, I hate to repeat myself, but if you're a fan of movies or if you're a fan of this ranking in general, smash that like button. Share the video with anybody that you want to share it with or any of your social media platforms. And of course, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support. And of course, be a part of something special. And JDev will return.